Feeling good, like I should When in circle, I'll go around the neighborhood Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my vlogs So, <clears throat> I'm in my boyfriend's bedroom and the little like ensuite toilet bathroom room um, and I have washed my hair today. I feel a lot fresher. I'm wearing my really nice, very old school Tommy Hilfiger bralette, which I got when I was in London with Malik. I think the first time I met up with her actually. Um, and my local house of Fraser stocks Tommy Hilfiger and they've got like loads of obviously the more modern new ones and I'm definitely going to treat myself to a couple um, but yeah I freshly washed my hair I've brushed it through I'm going to go sit in the garden for a little bit and I'm going to let my hair air dry but before I do that I'm going to go and just clear out my boyfriend's room because we've got quite a little bit of rubbish stuff like that and I've already packed up my bags because I'm going home tonight um, and he's going to be back from by three from work um, and I've got today and tomorrow off um, I've uploaded my makeup decluster onto private that's going up at two o'clock this afternoon which I'm really excited about um, and I'm going to try and edit another vlog but my main priority is just making sure his room is just a bit tidier so I'm going to get a couple of carrier bags from downstairs fill them with rubbish and then chuck them in the big bins but yeah I've done my mascara and brow skin today I just couldn't be bothered for full makeup to be honest with you um, I woke up this morning and I felt like I was in a sleep coma I was like so tired um, so yeah it was really nice to be able to go back to sleep again um because my boyfriend left really early this morning for work um but yeah i've just done my brows and mascara because it just makes me feel a bit more ready even though i've got nothing really planned for today um so i'm spending the night at home tonight and i'm having dinner with mum which will be lovely um because we've had a loss in the family um I'm not going into it because I don't know how much I, my family want me to talk about it but we've had a, something massive happen in the family which has really really upset all of us and it is just really heartbreaking um, so I'm not going to talk about it but I just thought I'd let you know because that's why my mum definitely won't be in any vlogs for a very long time she hasn't been for a, since before lockdown anyway but we did have plans not anymore at the moment my grandma definitely not Lynn never was anyway but you know we're my family just want to heal um, and it's going to take a very long time to do that um, but yeah so I've got today and tomorrow off I'm then working Friday I get paid so soon I'm so excited about it I'm waiting for my payslip to drop into my emails um, but yeah I'm just like make sure all my stuff is packed ready and then yeah I'm just going to tidy up his room because like it's his room but like I stay in it quite a lot so I felt like it's a bit of my responsibility to make sure it's all right um, so yeah but I'm really happy that my video is up in private been pro procrastinating i've got the bin bags i need to clear up the mess now i'm just really happy i washed my hair because i wasn't going to go in the shower till i got home and i was thinking you know what if i am going home later on in the afternoon which is the plan my boyfriend's going to come get me you know like i just want to feel a bit fresher um so i am going to tidy up the mess so then he can come back and it's not going to be an absolute crap hole in his room um but yeah so I'm gonna chill i've uploaded my videos gone up live on my channel and people are loving it which is great um definitely check it out if you haven't already and i'm gonna be posting stuff at the post office this weekend so then all my giveaways will be completely up to date i've been messaging back and forth with the girls of one um and we've been communicating and everything like that and they've been completely understandable like they've been very understanding um and yeah so i'm not gonna do any more giveaways for a little while now um i'm gonna plan them and stuff but i'm not gonna do any once i've cleared these giveaways and sent them off um that's gonna be it um i'm gonna announce my giveaway winner for the blushing cosmetics bundle obviously because that did go live and i'm gonna announce the winner in the next couple of days it would have already been announced by the time you see this um but after that i'm not gonna do any giveaways for a little bit i'm gonna give myself a break from the pressure because obviously where i've been working so much and the post office has limited hours and stuff in my local area because of covid and the pandemic it's just been a bit like manic and then i feel really bad because the parcels haven't gone out and then if i do another giveaway people are like we well, haven't sent the other giveaway parcels off yet you know and people have been very critical very judgmental and quite harsh to be honest um so yeah i'm going to send these giveaway parcels off at the weekend and then announce my blushing cosmetics bundle giveaway winner and then that's it for a little while i've decided i'm just going to keep my hair down today to be honest um but i'm going to clear the bed of all my stuff um i've cleared the floor the duvet that we used to have is now under the bed i'm going to make the bed a bit better as well um but i've cleared all the rubbish which i'm really happy about so yeah he's gonna come home and see that his room's a bit tidier so i'm back in my bedroom and i don't know how long i'm actually here for because i'm having dinner with my mum um but i'm gonna unpack everything because i think i am 
staying at my boyfriend's tonight, but I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm going to take my mascara and my eyebrows off, just with a bit of Miss Lair water. Um, but I'm going to unpack everything, as I said, but everything in the wash bin, because my washing's being done tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it's just, I feel really, really lucky and blessed. Um, and yeah, I am so, so excited to make an order from Bethany, because she runs BG Lashes, mentioned her so many times on my channel and over on my Instagram. Um, and she's making, she's got her own custom lip oils, and I cannot, cannot wait. I've missed using my laptop, um, so I charged it when I was at my boyfriend's. And I'm gonna watch some YouTube on it. So I've got Zoe on here because I had to reconnect to the internet and now I'm gonna put all my makeup on because my makeup drawers are looking a bit empty. So I've got my dinner, I've got salad and fish cakes. Yeah, I'm that weird. I have to have my fish cakes separate to my salad. I don't like my salad getting hot. And we've got codfish cakes and Cornish Cove grated cheese. Love it. I am watching some of Saffron's vlogs. I have really missed watching her videos. Um, my room is a lot tidier now, so yeah. I'm gonna enjoy eating this and chilling. It is Thursday the 8th of October. I keep wanting to say September, it's because I'm editing my really long vlog when I was staying with my boyfriends. Um, but basically I've been on Facebook and I've been messaging back and forth JNL's sweet treats, who I have mentioned before, shown them in a vlog ages and ages ago. Um, they do amazing sweets um, and they do 1kg boxes for only £10, they do home delivery, contactless free delivery, they're just amazing. I discovered them through lockdown when we were in like a full lockdown um, and she's amazing, um, it's just like a second business for her and she's running it so well and she's so successful. She had like a one year um, anniversary celebrations event that turned out really well, this was obviously before there was restrictions in place. Um, and her company is just really, really good and it's such a good small business to support. And I've been watching loads of TikTok, as I do, and my TikTok is just full of Harry Potters, you know, and the POVs of Harry Potter and J.K. Malfoy, just like Tom Felton. It's just back then, like from Prisoner of Azkaban onwards, pretty much, mainly after Prisoner of Azkaban. So I've been lying down on my bed. Um, you know, he's just, he was one of my favourite characters, always will be, always has been, um, so, yeah, who doesn't love a bit of a bad boy, but anyway, I really want to watch some Harry Potters, um, because I'm getting back into the books, because I'm just Harry Potter obsessed, if you didn't know that already, then you know that now, um, every time me and, every time me and Malika go to London, we always go to the Primark and the Harry Potter section, I always buy at least one thing, and so does she, so, I think that's what bonded our friendship even more, our crazy obsession, and fixation on Harry Potter, but that's fine. Um, there's worse things to be obsessed with. Um, but yeah, I really love watching. Like my one of my favorite films is Prisoner of Azkaban, and they go to Hogsmeade for the first time, the sweet shops and stuff. And I just feel like it's a rite of passage to have some really nice sweets and watch Harry Potter. So I've been really cozy on my bed. I haven't fallen asleep yet, which I'm really impressed with. It's twenty to ten. I bet I've just made you yawn. Um, and I've been editing my staying at my boyfriend's vlog because. It's going to take me so long. I've got it down to 38 minutes and it was 56. So I'm doing quite well. Um, I do film too much. Um, but it's basically just like a massive vlog where I filmed at my boyfriend's. Where I filmed at my boyfriend's house. I've got some quite exciting content coming, including my boyfriend soon. Finally. So that's the plan. I'm really hungry, but I don't really know what I want. I might do myself some toast. So to cheer my grandma up because our whole family's just been a bit upset and everything at the moment. Um... I'm sort of like a bit, quite a bit heartbroken. So I am taking my grandma out for lunch next Saturday. She really wanted cheering up and I suggested it to her, you know, and she knows her own mind. If she didn't want to go out, she didn't have to go out. And she went, no, that'd be lovely. So we're going to my godmother's restaurant. It's booked for one o'clock. That's happened this year. It's just been absolutely shocking. Um, and I'm still like, it kind of hits me in like waves. Like I just, I, I not I forget about it, but I just don't think about it. I don't focus on it. And then in the back of my head, it just... The light bulb goes off and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember now. And it's just, it's not fun. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Because I want to redo my makeup drawers, I have been looking at storage um, on Amazon. And they've actually got some really good... Um, storage things. I just put loads in my basket, and then I've been looking on Sheen as well. 
um, storage and everything because you know love a bit of sheen and I'm definitely gonna get people's Christmas presents from here so my staying at my boyfriend's and getting a little bit emotional vlog is just processing it's nearly finished uploading onto private which is really good um, I'll probably upload it Saturday um, I'm gonna do my makeup in a bit um, I've got my Harry Potter DVD, my, my, my mum's Harry Potter DVDs in my bed, Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire, because they're two of my favourites, um, and I'm really, really excited to watch them, um, so yeah, but my sweets are coming, I'm really excited, Jess has messaged me saying that they are coming soon, which I'm really excited about, and then we can just, I can just chill, um, but I'm going to once again just carry on doing a bit of online shopping, um, and bits and pieces like that because why the hell not and my blush boutique has a website I don't know if i mentioned this before it's a fairly recent thing that they've done so you can find them via their instagram or via their website so i'll show you their website in a bit um but yeah i'm really happy i've got so much editing done and then i'm going to film a what's in my handbag due to very high demand and request my sweet package has been delivered look at these i have opened these up already and had a couple because i did an unboxing on my instagram story but I've got so many amazing sweets in here. I've got Harry Potter on. And I could not be happier. Um, and I've got so much editing done as well. So it's been a really, really good day today. So my hair is quite straight. And I've taken the reminiscence of the mascara and eyebrow product off. Because I'm going to do my makeup. Um, so, yeah. I've also cleaned my NARS Duo Is Old. Duo Eyeshadow Is Old. Because I got this like years and years and years ago. Um... One of the first high-end items I've ever bought. And I've actually cleaned it. Because if you know this, it was not looking like this. It was all mucky and disgusting. And I'll clean the mirror as well. So that's quite satisfying. Um, but I'm going to go for a classic gold look. Um, I've cracked open my new gold something. I can't remember the name of this. It's a Dazzle Dust Barbarium. It's a staple. It was a holy grail of mine. Um, and I've got my two favourite neutral eyeshadow palettes. The Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose which is only four pounds and you guys definitely need this if you have not got it in your collection already because it's just so versatile and it's gorgeous and then the urban heat by primark which is only four pounds as well and it's got an amazing range of shades so yeah we're gonna get started i'm gonna start with my brows if you haven't watched any of my makeup looks or just my makeup so get ready with me i love the revolution pro brow products um i've got the brow pomade in taupe which has been well used can't really see it properly like that but you know um, and also um, the Revolution Pro Soft Brown Duo Brow Powder, which I only use one of the shades, but it's just so good. Um, I do love Benefit Brow Products. They are my absolutely ride or die. Can never go wrong with them. However, for a really affordable option and still does an amazing job, Revolution Pro, £5, and I believe £5, so £10 for two amazing brow products. That's it, you're set for a very long time and i just think sometimes you can save yourself a bit of money but i would definitely still recommend benefit because it's just insane products but if you're younger or if you just don't want to spend that amount of money on brow products revolution pro is the next best thing um so yeah but i am using two benefit brow products today i'm going to be using the goof proof brow, brow pencil in number three um this is one of my literally i can use this just to do my whole eyebrow which i haven't been able to use pencil in a long time um, this is so good and the 24 hour brow setter which is insane it's the best brow gel I've ever come across so far um, because it just doesn't make my eyebrows crispy it makes them really soft keeps them in shape and it's just an amazing brow gel so sometimes you do have to spend a bit more because other brow gels I've tried so far from like, this like drugstore and like you know um, high street shops they are just really crispy they make my brows like not the nicest so yeah i'm gonna do that and then on my eyelids i'm gonna use the collection lasting perfection concealer and set it with the revolution pro powder foundation which is my new favorite fat powder because it just gives a bit of coverage and it is really good so i do recommend that as well um, and then i'm gonna do my eyeshadow so i've got my box of my uh, brushes and i have actually been very different for once and um, i know a lot of people use sponges for their makeup that's how i apply my foundation but i forgot it at my boyfriend's so i had to use this brush which is from bh cosmetics it's the number four brush i got it in a complete set oh this is another brush i use from them and um, but i got the complete set from bethany she was selling them um and this actually does a really good job my foundation looks so flawless and it just blends amazingly like just the circular motions as you can see, I'm going to do a whole time lapse um, and be doing my makeup. But yeah, so I'm going to watch some YouTube and sort out this face. And love is all we'll ever trust.
seen via the time lapse I've done my makeup I miss doing time lapse on my makeup let me know if you want to see those more in my vlogs I miss doing time lapse in general um but I feel super glam I'm not gonna lie I am loving my makeup today some people might think I look like trash but I don't for once um I'm wearing one of my favorite Hollister bodysuits which is technically broken it's supposed to be a bit like connecting that bit together but for some reason it pinged off um we're still super comfy i absolutely love this body so i always get compliments when i'm wearing it i've turned my necklace around because it was the wrong way around because i'm an absolute numpty um but yeah i'm really really happy how with how my makeup looks and it's perfect so i'm going to sit down and film my what's in my handbag video um and talk about the sheen handbag that i'm using at the moment and the quality and the price and things like that because i think it can be really handy to find online shops the like online brands that sell handbags that are actually quite good quality for cheaper and you don't have to necessarily go into shops I know that's a big problem at the moment because I know a load of high street shops are shutting because they haven't had the customers and Covid has completely killed the high street shops I know that but if there's a lot of you that I know can't go out because you've got to self-isolate since Covid's getting bad again or you don't want to go into the shops but you want to get some nice handbags and since Primark don't do online shopping yet I do recommend she. So I have filmed my what's in my handbag video and I'm super, super happy about it. So I'm just, honestly, I'm so chuffed. So yeah, um, and I'm gonna edit that tonight um, and get it up some point next week. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm really excited for this afternoon now. I'm just, cannot wait. So it's a Friday the 9th of November and I'm just about to meet Matt because he's gonna take me to Tesco's so I can do some food shopping. Um, yeah, he's going to take me to do some food shopping and then we're picking my mum up because she's got a parcel at my grandma's, so... So I'm now home, my hair is gross, I need to wash it in the morning, um, but I've got Harry Potter on, my brows are gross as well, I've got my sweets, um, and I've got a bottle of coke, and I'm going to show you the bits I picked up, I'm going to tidy everything away as well because my room's a bit of a mess, it's not that much of a mess, to be fair, I left my clothes in my boyfriend's boot like a numpty, so he's going to drop them off to me in a minute, which is really good of him. So I've got two bags worth of Tesco stuff in there, most of it is snacks to be honest, but that's the main reason I went. Um, and I'm going to be going to Audi at some point as well because my boyfriend's mum's going to take me because she's an absolute gem. Um, but yeah, I spent £22, but £5 of that was my boyfriend's chicken Caesar wraps. I'm also thinking of Courtney when I film this because she loves my food hauls. So bag one contains some long live apple juice, which was like 80-odd P. My favourite pretzels, honestly, these are amazing. They do normal flavour in sour cream chive. I love these. Um, they're only a pound milk chocolate buttons these are one of the best inventions and creations ever 
they were only a pound these are like one pound something cheddars love them a savory snack two packs of super noodles because these are amazing whether they be at work or having here this is a quick and easy meal not the healthiest but they are really really good i'm gonna try i was gonna buy nutella but it's not very economic eco-friendly it's not very sustainable um with how they source it all like the ingredients and stuff whereas this is just normal Tesco's chocolate spread i don't know whether i'm actually whether it's actually much more but everything planet not too sure but i thought i'd give it a go because i've tried the cadbury's and it's all right but i need to chuck that um, because it's really out of date um so i thought i'd give this a go because it's just so much cheaper and there's a cheap alternative you know but i do love nutella i'm not gonna lie it's my guilty pleasure um so i know i really shouldn't love it because of the effects it has on the planet but you know, some, I'm just, it's not an excuse, but it, it is really good. It tastes really nice. I've got some cheese twists, which are staple. These, oh my God, these have been out for a little while, but I'm not going to lie. I never thought I'd hype up crisps this much on my channel. However, these are really, really good. They're the flavourings. They are, these are really, really strong flavour, honestly. Salt and vinegar to the next level. Um, But they are really good. They're only a pound. And Tesco's finest, crinkle crisps. They're actually quite decent. I haven't tried the chicken time ones i'm not gonna lie to you i might just take them out to my boyfriend's and put them in the um crisp box in the cupboard for anyone to help themselves to because i'm not really sure i'm gonna like them um but these are so good these are a really good really cheap dupe of i'm talking about dupes of food um of m s crinkle crisps they're only like one pound fifty or whatever but these are only a pound okay so they had loads of halloween like cakes and treats and i'm not really into halloween i'm not gonna lie to you however I did get drawn over, and these are the raspberry mini rolls. I don't know whether they had the Halloween edition, I don't know, but these are really good. I remember having these last year. They were like one pound something, so they weren't too bad. Tuck biscuits. I can't really go and get like snacks and cupboard fillers um, without getting tuck biscuits. And then I've got two packs of Tesco's crackers because these are really good. 40p each. You can't really go wrong. And I love these with butter or with cheese. I'm very plain and simple. Um, but yeah, that's literally everything I've got. So really, it, doesn't, it looks a lot less now I've got it out. Because when I had it in the basket, it looked like a lot. But for me, it's a lot because I'm going to make it last because I don't always eat here. I'm saying to my boyfriends, I give my boyfriend's sister some money towards food a month now because obviously I do eat there a lot. So obviously I'm going to be having food there, food here. So this is going to last me a good little while. Um, It's a bit of a mess. stuff. Um, And once again, I'm going to take this to my boyfriend's when I go tomorrow because he loves chocolate milkshakes. He loves his milk. It's ridiculous. And I'm not going to use all of that. So I'm going to take that round for him to, you know. Um, I'm going to get rid of these because they're out of date now. Tea bags. Can go back in the tea bag pot. But yeah. Um, and I've got my pasta and things like that. I might get rid of some of my cups. So this is what we're working with. I'm never ever getting rid of this. Malika will know the love. Um, so I've really condensed my cups, which I'm really happy about. And I'm always keeping that Beauty and the Beast one. I've got some pasta, some tomato sauce. I am going to offer my mum these because these were the wrong ones. This is when rations were sparse. Honestly, getting food was a nightmare um, when the pandemic first kicked off. And I'm sure if we haven't, the second wave gets worse and worse, which unfortunately I'm sure it probably will. People will panic by and be selfish, but I'm going to give these to my mum because I don't like these ones. Um, and when my boyfriend drops off my clothes, I'm just going to give him these. Um, but yeah, so what we're working with, we've got some couple of savory things you can see my cupboard's not full but it's got bits and pieces this is a lot clearer because obviously i'm getting rid of this i'm gonna see if my mum wants these um so i've just got my spreads my juice tins noodles it's like quick and easy food crackers savory stuff up there some sweets um see so yeah, i'm it's a look it's a look yeah it looks a lot tidier i honestly cannot remember the time when i didn't have a cupboard like i would not be able to live without all the space um, and if you've watched my vlogs, like especially when COVID first happened, like my cupboard was full. I love a full cupboard. However, I just don't see the point in bulk buying because it's just selfish. It's unnecessary, and I'm not here all the time. And also, as I said, I eat my boyfriend's, so there's no need for me to go mad. But I am gonna go to Aldi and buy some stuff because I do love their snacks. I'm not gonna lie.